Welcome to the first part of our audio tutorial series for Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this video, we will show you how to play a sound in-game. To create sounds, you need to install WISE and get a license. To do so, follow the steps in the SDK documentation WISE license information page. You also need the WISE sample project. You can download it with the SDK installer within the game. First, you need to import audio in WISE. You can do it in the Audio tab here. You will have to create an audio work unit. Within your work unit, you can drag and drop audio files. By clicking on your audio, you will see all its settings. In this example, we use a mechanical stall horn sound, so we want to make it loop. You can choose the start and the end of your loop at the crossfade time. Our audio settings are done. Now we have to put our sound into a WISE event. To do so, go to the Events tab, create an event work unit, and create a play event. You will have to respect our event naming convention, play underscore sound bank name underscore wise event. Sound bank name is the name of your sound bank and your pc.pck file. Wise event is the name of your audio event that you will set up in the sound.xml. We will come back to this later in this video. Then link your audio to your event. After that, you will have to create a sound bank work unit. To do so, go to the sound bank tab. Then create a sound bank. It has to be named like your main package name, like it was previously the case for our event. Then double click on it and drag and drop your event work unit in the sound bank editor window. Now, the last step in WISE is to generate our sound bank. For this, Go in Layout Sound Bank. If you generate for the first time, check all the boxes. WISE needs to generate every sound at least once. Check the platforms and languages too, and hit Generate All. If it's your first time generating, WISE will convert all the sound banks. After a while, you will get this. This means you have completed the WISE flow to add your sound in the game. The next step is to open the file packager application and open the pck underscore pc file. It is located here in the wise sample project. You will find your previously generated sound bank and the other sound banks of the sample projects. Now you have to create your wise package. To do so, click on add and name your package exactly like your sound bank and add pc.pck extension. Then drag and drop your sound bank into your package and save. Now you have to go back to WISE and generate your sound bank again. After this step, you can find your freshly created WISE package in the Generated Sound Banks folder of the WISE sample project. Now you have to copy this file in the right folder. Next, you have to create a sound.xml in this sound folder. This XML will trigger the event from your package. To be functional, the sound.xml requires those tags. Use the WISE packages category to specify your main package and, if needed, additional packages. If this category is not specified, the name of the package loaded in game will be deduced by the path of the sound.xml. Main package must be named exactly like your sound bank and your sim object. Then, Add your stall warning event, which belongs to the miscellaneous sounds category. We will come back to the sound.xml in details in our next tutorials. Enter your wise event, which is stall underscore warning, and specify if the sound is using wise data, true, or wave data, false. In this case, you must enter true. And finally, build your package with the devmod tool. Launch the game, and you should hear your audio playing. This was the first part of our audio tutorial series. 
to learn more about how to make audio for Microsoft Flight Simulator, take a look at our other audio tutorials about engine sounds or sounds.xml.